a YouTuber called The Flick Pick, and he loves these, so I thought I'd try them. I tried the cola ones last time, but these are the ones that he normally gets, so yeah, in the cinema. I need to go outside more. The weather's so nice. I say that it was raining yesterday. That's England for you. I went to see Everything Everywhere All at Once. That's the name of the movie. It felt like someone took their wildest dream and turned it into a movie. And it was magnificent. It was so good. It was brilliant. I love it. I recommend it. It's that time of the uh, month again. Right at the top of the electric bill. Like 50 pounds. I say time of the month. It's time of the three weeks now. 50 pounds used to last an entire month. Top up 50 pounds. One month you're good. Like it wouldn't be any more than two pounds a day. Now, 50 quid doesn't last you, it barely lasts you three weeks. So it works out to like almost 70 quid a month, I think, if you work it out properly. It's ridiculous. Ever since like, ever since like a couple of years ago when I said to my mom, from now on, I'm paying the electric bill. I regret it now, because <laughs> it just goes up constantly. Bloody energy bill. All the bills go up, rent goes up, wages don't go up enough, house prices go up. Everything gets more expensive and you don't get paid more to match it. It's just bloody annoying it is. And I live at home. I don't even have my own place. If I had my own place, I'd be, I'd be on the floor crying. Now Saturday, I am back at Sydney World to watch Top Gun Maverick in IMAX. Those sweets, by the way, Sour Patch Kids, they're pretty good. I'm not getting them now, though. There is no queue. I mean, it is Saturday, but it doesn't look that busy. It probably is inside. But usually there's a lot of people walking there. It's just me. But, yeah, if it's not busy, hopefully I'll get nachos. But the movie starting time is in, like, four minutes. There are adverts, though. But still, take something. It's Saturday. I barely see anyone. <laughs> there's more people probably in my booking than there is in the lobby right now. <laughs> At Cine World, they gave out free posters and I took both. Well, I had Natchez in one hand and phone in the other with my barcode. So a, a lady behind me just gave it to me. I'm just like, yeah, thank you. It wasn't even staff, it was, it was another customer. But yeah, um, I said, are they free? And I asked, are they free? And they said, yes. And I was given both. So I didn't watch it in 4DX, but I imagine it would be cool in 4DX. I might consider doing that because this movie was incredible. It really was. Uh, but yeah, there's the IMAX poster. That is uh, awesome. I loved that movie. <laughs> that was actually incredible. That was a sequel worth waiting for. That was so damn good. Tom Cruise is a damn legend. He really is. And they showed the trailer for Mission Impossible as well. <laughs> and that's over over a year away, but they're already showing a trailer. So I am going away for three days and uh, I've got to get my laptop charged and updated. It apparently it's got a lot of updates. I took this to Paris and I couldn't edit with it because I didn't have the right uh, files installed and right extensions but it all sorted now so hopefully this will be fine uh, for my three days and uh, yeah we're preparing for a new European adventure got my laptop charging I have got a power bank this is gonna solve a lot of problems I had issues with my battery going to Pisa and Monaco for a day a power bank will be very useful and it charges fairly fast as well at least fast enough to have it for a whole day before I get back, get back to my hotel and etc so yeah this thing was worth the purchase you were here for the uh, holiday vlogs last month I didn't get the dongle problem sorted I did not buy a dongle so I'm leaving, leaving my pixel at home um, as for my iPad it's still got battery problems don't know if I should take it, but if I'm just taking it to listen to music, then I guess I can do that. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But um, I'm packing today a couple nights, a couple days actually before. It's Monday night, technically just past midnight now, so it's Tuesday. Um, I got, I just had work today, finishing at 9 p.m. I got work again, finishing at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, I got to leave at 4 a.m. So I got to get home, shower, I live close to work. So hopefully get in bed by 10. And about, hopefully if I fall asleep straight away, five hours sleep maybe. Get up at three, leave at four, uh, check in a suitcase, fly at like 7.45. Yeah, it's going to be uh, quite something, but I'm not coming back on the same day. So, you know, I'll have rest time at the hotel. 
Um, but yeah, you're going to find out what I'm doing. It is a very uh, different European adventure, but uh, something I've been looking to do and something that's been on the bucket list. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, I'm going to get my suitcase prepared now and my bag prepared, although it's mainly just going to be this laptop anyway, <laughs> plus wires. So uh, yeah, let me get my suitcase sorted out because I'm taking a bigger one this time. Not that I need it, but I'm still taking a bigger one. Suitcase. Not this one. This one is good to go. Probably overkill for three days, but I took this to Paris for two days and overfilled it. So just in case, you never know what you could buy where I'm going. So yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's like three quarters full anyway. So got my hand luggage right here. Took this to Paris, Pisa, and uh, Monaco, Nice, and it was good. I'm taking my universal plug, obviously to charge things. It's got USB ports in it as well. Very useful. Also a mouse as well. This bag came with some accessories and I'm obviously using some of them. You can't see it clearly, but see it clearly, but there's a wide laptop pocket in here. It's a padded pocket specifically for laptops, so that's good. So it's gonna be mainly that, maybe a couple like protein bars. I've bought some protein bars, um, and wires, charger wires, etc. Just mainly in there. Maybe a spare cap and a spare mask as well. That's another thing, and I got my headphones in there, so uh and my iPad will go in there, so yeah, it's going to be a bit packed full of electrics and then my suitcase is going to have all my clothes and stuff apart from the clothes I'm obviously wearing to go on the flight I sort out a refund from McAfee because they flipping, I was ending my subscription and they charged me if you charge me 40 quid when I didn't want to be charged and they ask for a refund and you say yes, we're giving you a refund and then 10 days later there's no refund should really be having a problem with that, so uh <laughs> I'm going to sort that out and then shower and hopefully I can get to sleep and then go to work, come back and hopefully I'll fall asleep straight, straight away and then more sleep on the plane probably. Where am I going? You shall find out. But our next adventure in Europe is coming up next vlog.